Welcome ladies and gentlemen. I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing to this channel. I don't know this Kenya we yantuna bebo of buyer. Imagine news is just in. We are being told in accordance to the news that has been reported in the Star Kenya news. This is whatever star is seen. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi will on Friday be a special guest at the launch of the office of the spouse to the Prime Cabinet Secretary. In a statement, Musalia's communication director said the office will complement the work done by the first and second ladies of the country. That is what we, we are being told. When I want to be sincere, I want to just to be sincere. Can we get serious for once as a nation? Because I'm so shocked and surprised hustlers in quotes are finally getting jobs. Hustlers in quotes are finally getting jobs. According to my opinion, I hope next time other offices will be created for office of cabinet secretaries' spouses. And because William Ruto, um, let me say, regarding Ashawa, came out saying that their government is a company that is having shares. And it is shareholders that are coming to benefit. I want to say best luck to the office of the spouse of His Excellency, the Prime Cabinet Secretary of the Republic of Kenya. But I want to say this. Nabirutu told us during campaigns that they were not after expanding or expanding government to create positions for a few selfish individuals like in Azimio. He came out insisting many a times, assuring us his government will prioritize to solve problems facing Wanjiko. What to intro? What to intro? What to intro? This is just, this is just a very lean government indeed. And I I want to say that this, the question that I'm asking, is this a mamamboga? It is very shame to our country that now positions are created to squeeze all so-called close allies of William Samaruto. I remember so well, this government was so eloquent during the campaigns. When the Kenya Kwanza government was campaigning, they were so interested on how to change the economy of the Republic of Kenya, not to create positions that they are doing now. But nowadays, every leader is opening an office for spouses. Then MPs are going to have the offices of spouses. MCAs are going to have offices of spouses. And the tax of Kenyans or common Mwanainji, hustlers tax, is being misused, paying such useless office that does not even help Kenyans. So we are being told, in according to Mosalia's communication director, that this office will complement the work done by first and second ladies of the country. For what purpose? For what purpose? Inu jinga tunabebo, for what purpose? Mdavadi to launch office of spouse to prime cabinet secretary. Very useless.
For what purpose? On this side, Irungu Kangata, the governor of Muranga County, has come out lamenting that the county governments, which are institutions created by the constitution, have not received funds from the last four months. Yet, these offices that have been created, they have been fully funded, millions of money, millions of money, And I want to say this is just a ballooning government expenditure amidst a crisis when it comes to unemployment, high life, high standard of living. It is just not making sense to my... Yanis Yoni at a sense. I'm not seeing any sense. And this is how this government is putting their things. Never did to launch... Of his, of, his, of his wife. Doomed country. This is a doomed country. Creating so many offices for your wives will not help fight the high cost of living. Will not. Will not. Will not. MCS to come out to launch the offices of their wives will not so the issue that we are passing through. And this is finally the freedom that we were being told. That this is the freedom that we were being told. Aye, right, this is now too much. They said as a new leaders were in front of creating positions. This government is all about creating position. Position. People like Azir, people like Akode, useless. These people are just going to eat Kenyan stacks. Doing nothing. Useless things. We as Kenyans, the real issues, frustrations that people are passing, they are shocked. Mama Boga, they are demonstrating, asking themselves. We were told that this is the, our government. Now it is the government of others. It is a company owned by William Ruto and Rigadi Gashago. That is what we are seeing. It is all about creating positions. Musali Mdavadi himself is occupying unconstitutional position or an office. Again, creating unconstitutional office for his wife. Bure Kabisa. Bure Kabisa. Kwani ofisi ya bibi yake itasaidia Kenya na nini? Very useless. Useless. This is total nonsense. Soon all politicians will launch offices of their spouses. I'm seriously sympathizing with so-called mama mboga and boda boda people. I'm seriously sympathizing with our country. At a point that people are so much frustrated. The life is so devastating. We are moving on a wrong direction. Yet yeah, this government is continuing to create useless positions that will never and will not solve the issues that Kenyans are passing through. It is the office of the spouse of Prime Cabinet. <laughs> Kenya Company Limited. Opening more branches countrywide. I think at times William Samuru must be serious with these issues. Yeah? Yeah? And again, people are lamenting. Now, at times I sympathize with Kenyans. We are so stupid at times. We are useless because we, we are very useless. We always select people who does not have agenda. They are clueless, planless, because of their personal interest, coming dishing money, like William Ruto did the other day, while they were campaigning. <laughs> Where pesa na rudisha? I suggest that next, next, <laughs> kindly let them launch office of the spouse of speaker, majority leader, 
minority leader, and all those. Let all speakers of county assembly launch their spouses. Kenya is becoming like Uganda. At the office of the spouse. Very useless. This is what we call misuse of public resources. Very useless. Tremendously useless. How I wish this were Kubwa. <laughs> and women could have, uh, of course, an uh, immediate form flock for lessons of, on, uh, on what they can do for this country. And by the way, what Mudavadi is doing as a prime cabinet is so is not relevant. It is not even coming to my mind that Musali Mudavadi is doing what? Ninini Musali Mudavadi anafanya for? Na pese me allocatiwa so much allocation of budget. Pese me weko ata kushinde deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Yet the position is unconstitutional. Which kind of direction we are moving to? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a simple question. This is just a stupidity that we are in, but um, I used to think that uh, William Ruto meant whatever he wants to do with the country, even if some people are disregarding that um, he meant good for this nation. I don't think. These people are so planless, meaningless, and clueless to the, our country. We are just going to this is where we are going to. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my opinion. What I have opinion? That is my own opinion. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. What are your opinion? Otherwise, thank you so much because of great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye. Till you meet on another video.